Hi guys, Adam here again with uh, another video from Kinetics Physiotherapy. We're looking at tennis elbow again, uh, but this time we're going to be looking at some exercises to help tackle it. Um, so I mentioned in previous videos that exercise is a really good way of tackling tennis elbow, especially at the moment in a pandemic and we're all in lockdown in the UK. It's really nice to be able to do at home and you can, you can help yourself while you can't get out to see anybody. So the exercises we're going to look at are going to target the muscles in the forearm. So when we're looking at tennis elbow, the muscles in the forearm are what causes the pain. Although the pain generally sits around this, this sort of bony bit on the outside of the elbow here, what that is is that's the attachment site of the muscles here in the forearm. Um, so these muscles that sit here, they start around here on that bony bit that's quite tender, they travel down the arm and then they go into the fingers here. So they're responsible for moving the fingers and moving the wrist as well as a few other movements that we'll look at today. When we're looking at the exercises, these seven exercises, each strengthening exercise is going to, to work a slightly different area. First three are gonna be a little bit easier to get things warmed up, and then the second three are gonna be a bit more challenging to work on loading that, that tendon a bit further, and then we're gonna look at a stretch to finish that might, might, might feel quite relieving as well. So the first exercise we're going to do um, is, is look at supination and pronation. So if you're sitting in a chair like myself, have the elbow bent and then have your palm facing up. And then we're going to just slowly go from palm up to palm down. And we're using these muscles in the forearm to do so. Might feel a little bit uncomfortable if you've got really sort of raging tennis elbow and it's giving you a lot of trouble, but generally should be quite comfortable to do. It shouldn't be too difficult. Just go nice and slowly at your own pace. Don't want to be going too quickly. It's mainly just to get these warmed up. We're going to keep going and try and do 10 palm up and then 10 palm down. And then once you've done that, we'll move on to the next exercise. So the second exercise, we're going to make a fist. And then what you want to do again, keep the elbow bent and it's all coming from the wrist. I just want you to go up and down. Again, when you're, when you're moving, if you've got quite severe tennis elbow or it's particularly sore, this might be a little bit uncomfortable around the elbow here or into the forearm. That's absolutely fine. Just don't push through any large pain barriers. Just going up and going down. And again, 10 of these. And then once you've managed 10 of those, you're going to move on to keeping the fist, but you're going to have your palm facing down. And then you're going to go up and down. This might be more uncomfortable of the three. And you can, if you look down at your forearm, once you're when you're coming up, you should feel you should see the uh, a bit of movement in the forearm towards the elbow, and that's those muscles contracting. So as you come up, they contract and get shorter to pull those those muscles up and pull the wrist up. That's why lifting things tends to get quite tricky with tennis elbow picking things up, because those muscles have to engage to stop your wrist from falling forwards. So they've got to they've got to brace the wrist and support it. Once you've done ten of those going to move on to the next exercise. So these, these next three exercises are a little bit more challenging um, and they're going to work on increasing that, that load going through there. So the first one we're going to look at is with a tin here. I've got a tin of chickpeas that you, you can use whatever you like. Um, but essentially we're going to look at this movement again, holding onto the tin here. So you can either rest your arm on your lap if that's more comfortable or hold it, hold it like this. Um, and then you're just going to go through the same movement, but just that little bit slower. So it's nice and slowly come up to the top and then come back down. I'm just adding a little bit of resistance to that movement. It should feel a little bit stronger around the elbow. It should feel it might be a bit more painful. Just do what's manageable. These exercises might be a bit uncomfortable, but they shouldn't be anything more than that. If they are, try the first three exercises because they might be at a more manageable level. And then once it starts to get easier, you can move on to exercises like this one. Lovely. I'm going to aim to do between 8 and 12 of those if you can. Okay. And then we're going to move on to the next exercise. So for the next one, we're going to need a hammer. So when we're, we're looking at this exercise, we're going to go on to that supination and pronation. But because of the hammer, if you hold it at the end here, most of the weight is here on the end. So what it does is as you're going from that pronation, and then nice and slowly up and round into that supination. It does two things. So one, it uses the muscles. You've got to control.
control that movement coming round. And the second one is once you get to the end of the movement, the weight of the hammer is pulling you round. It's a little bit of overpressure, which works in improving that flexibility. Some people find that when they have tennis elbow, it reduces the movement they've got around the elbow and the forearm. So it's nice to try and get that moving, get the blood flowing to that area. But this one be a bit challenging. So again, just do what's manageable. Don't push through any significant pain. Again, try and aim between eight and 12 of these if you can. Okay. And the third and, uh, sorry, the, yeah, the third and final loading exercise we've got, you're going to need a towel. So I've just got a tea towel. All you need to do is roll it up like this. And then what you want to do is imagine it's full of water and you're trying to get as much water out as you can. So have your elbow straight and then you're going to try and wring that towel out. So you're going to go right arm going forwards, left arm coming back. Then you're going to go the opposite way. So left arm going forwards, right arm coming back. Okay. You're trying to really try and wring out as much water as you can. If you want to dunk it in water, you feel more than welcome to. I won't, I'll make a bit of a mess on the floor. Um, but just try and hold it and then come back around. Again, if you can manage between four and five each way, so sort of one this way, then one going the other way, then that's two, that's two. But the main thing with these exercises is to make sure they're nice and controlled. That's the main thing. They shouldn't be quick. They should be nice and slow and you're in control because it's, we're also looking at the time under tension for the tendon. The more time this ten, these tendons are under tension, the more blood flow we're stimulating to the area. So the last exercise we're going to look at, the seventh exercise, is going to be a stretch. So we're going to try to stretch these muscles here. We're going to do it in stages. So the first one, where the, sort of the, the beginner phase, if it's really, really tender around here, what we're going to do is you have the elbow bent, nice and tucked into your side. I just want you to look at the wrist quite passively. It should be mostly the other arm that's, that's doing all the movement here. Just want you to bring the wrist down. All right. And for a lot of people, they won't feel too much going on around the arm here. But if that's particularly sore for you, or if you, if you feel a good stretch in the forearm and towards the elbow, just hold that for about 30 seconds. Okay. If, like myself, you don't, you're not feeling anything, keep that pressure on and then straighten the elbow. So you should be increasing the stretch a little bit further there in the forearm. You should feel it tracking up here, going to the elbow. Okay. And for more people, they'll start to feel a bit of a stretch there. And if you do, if you're one of those, then hold for, for 30 seconds. And then if you really want to increase that stretch a little bit further, we're going to look at the fingers. So again, going to keep the pressure on the wrist. This time, just adjust your grip slightly. So you want to, to curl the fingers round. So you're going to keep the elbow straight, keep the wrist flexed, and then also introduce the fingers as well. And that should really get a stretch going all the way from the elbow, down the forearm, and maybe into the back of the hand as well. And if that gets a stretch for you there, then again, hold that for about 30 seconds. Shouldn't be too painful. And if the pain starts to build, just ease off slightly. You don't have to hold a really strong stretch. You don't have to be gritting your teeth the whole time. But as long as we do this on a daily basis, it should help improve it. And relax there. So those seven exercises, if you do them on a daily basis, should really help with, with tennis elbow pain. And it's a really nice way to, to self-manage it and be able to do the exercises at home, especially in the current climate. There are a few other things you can do. Um, so I made another video on self-massage for, for tennis elbow. If it's feeling particularly sore and actually can't do many of the exercises, it might be a nice way to, to ease off a bit of the tension and a bit of the tenderness around there. And so you can do some of these exercises, increase that load tension and that load capacity for the tendon. So check that video out. Um, I'll also uh, see if I can leave a link to the, the towel ringing exercise. Uh, there is a bit of physio kit that you can use um, to, that's sort of more specific to that, provides a bit more resistance. Um, if you want to, uh, I'll leave a link in the description to, to take you to, to one of those I'd recommend. It's not essential, you can use a tea towel, but um, if you want to try it, give it a go. Um, but that's it for this video. Uh, if you found it useful, please leave a like and subscribe and share with anyone that might find this useful as well. Um, and like always, uh, I, I am a physiotherapist and I do hand these exercises out on a daily basis, but 
uh, I don't know who's on the other end of the camera, I don't know who's watching this, so uh, if you are concerned and you do have pain in the elbow, before you start doing any exercises or anything, make sure you get it checked out by a GP or, or a doctor or a physiotherapist uh, before you start doing any exercises, just to make sure that is what the problem is, um, and then they might recommend these exercises as well, in which case you know what to do. Um, but if there's anything you want me to cover in the future, let me know in the comments below and I'd be more than happy to, to go through it in a future video. All right, thanks guys, and I'll see you in the next video.